You know, here at St. John's, we're all working at uh, uh, anti-racism, especially anti-black racism in a real way. Um, some harder than others, like most places. Um, but we're, we're really kind of giving it a deep dive. And because one of the things that we notice is that there's a difference between acceptance and tolerance inclusion and real belonging in community. And, you know, the word of God comes to us this Sunday and it says, you've heard it said, an eye and eye for a tooth, uh, and a tooth for a tooth. We all know that one. And I think as Christians, we all realize that Jesus kind of said, no, don't make it that way. You've heard it said, love your own and hate your enemy. What I say to you, this is love your enemy. And so, but I think what we've done is that, first of all, anybody that we've othered, that we've turned into something um, not us in some ways, especially white folks, but everybody does it in different ways, to different degrees, I guess. Now, when we've othered someone, um, right away, they're not one of us. They're not a brother or a sister. They're something else. And something else is hard to love. And so something else becomes tolerated. And that's you know, when we have a, a kind of easy peace that doesn't feel for one another, uh, that doesn't, that doesn't hurt, you know, when a Tyree Nichols is killed, uh, it just says, oh, dear, dear, um, how awful again, we need to do something about that. But we don't reach out to people who are bearing that pain because we haven't loved them. So we haven't built a real friendship and a real trust that when we say I'm with you in this, we mean it in more than a performative way. So, you know, as we get ready for Lent, um, it might be really good to start thinking about things like that. When we hear these really hard commands of Jesus, do we, do we take them as they are? Love your enemies, turn them into something else not objects of your hate, not objects of your scorn, not objects at all. Move from just tolerating otherness in your space to realizing that your space is filled with people who are not other. That the only fundamental pronoun around is we, and Jesus has made it that way. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.